What's good, YouTube? This your man, Spill Dog. You know what, man? I, been, I watched that fight with uh, Boots and that boy, uh, and, and, and the boy, uh, you know, that, that, I can't say the dude's name, the last dude he just fought. And, you know, it might be a good thing that he didn't get that fight with Keith Thurman. Uh, and I think he would be ready for it now. But, you know, uh, I don't watch this fight maybe three or four times now. And, you know, he had trouble with the movement, you know, uh, I think he had kind of probably got used to these fighters kind of sitting in front of him t t uh, to some degree, and uh, this dude movement gave him a lot of problems, uh, and I'm noticing, you know, because he was getting caught, uh, you know, being somewhat impatient at time and, and getting a little twisted out of position, and this guy don't have no power. I'm thinking what happens if he got caught by Keith Thurman with some of these combinations, uh, and, uh, you know, jumping in, you know, and, you know, I, I you know, he might've got hurt, you, you know, he might, you know, like buzzed or, uh, something like that. I mean, Keith is a much bigger puncher than this guy. And towards the end, it looked like Boots, he didn't get hurt, but you can tell he felt a few of the, uh, you know, it was enough to make him kind of pause once or twice in the later round, I think it was like the 11th and 12th, and uh, I now, this, that fight was gonna be the best thing for his development in the end, though. you know, cause like I said, that's the only thing I was trying to say when everybody was trying to throw him in a ring with Earl Spence or somebody. It's not that he's not ready, but it, you need to, uh, you need to fight a few fights like this, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's better. Even if it's just this one, it's gonna be a lot better for him where he see that everybody not going to get knocked out. You know, uh, his power didn't seem to really bother that guy all that much. And that movement gave him a lot of problems. And I don't, I, I'm not sure this guy got better feet than Keith Thurman. I don't even think he do. Uh, and Keith is going to be coming with a lot better combinations and a lot of harder punches had that been them. Plus, had Keith... He got more experience than this guy. Had he realized he was having problems with the movement, he may have even start trying to set him up here and there like this dude was doing uh, and sometimes catching him. You know, like a lot of times he caught him clean in this fight. Uh, he just ain't got nothing behind no punches, man. So, you know, uh, I mean, the, when, when, at the end of Boo's career, he'll look back and, and, and realize this, this fight did a whole lot for his development. Uh, Going these 12 rounds, you know, uh, fighting a guy that's apparently is a style that he ain't used to or, or, or you know, not familiar with fighting a guy that can move that good and, and box well or off off that movement. And I and I'm watching this guy and I and, I, and I'm seeing a uh, 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 less talented Keith Thurman uh, on on his bike. I have seen Keith move like this, this is why I was thinking part of the reason why he get hurt to the body, uh, cause he move around so much and, and, and you know, that, that, that's gonna bring fatigue. I don't care who you are to some degree later on in the fight. Uh, which is why, you know, like I said, you know, uh, Keith gonna have a lot of problems with Earl cause Earl gonna cut the ring off and force him to fight. And at this point, uh, Boots maybe, you know, just wasn't prepared for this type of fight I'm thinking and wasn't cutting the ring off. And had this been Keith Thurman, not saying Keith would have won, but I'm saying it, it, it would have been real interesting because it, he'd been, did, it would have been much bigger punches uh, coming coming off the movement. And once Keith realized he, he was having a problem with that movement, he definitely wouldn't have stopped just like this guy. It just would have been much more explosive combinations when he did throw him at all. I mean, you know, uh, it, everything worked out good for Boots. I, I, I'm glad Keith didn't take that fight because that would have been a, uh, it, 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 you know, it could have been, it, it, it could, it could have been a problem. So, me watching this fight right here, that could have been a problem if he was in there with one of the top guys uh, moving like that and him not being prepared for it. Uh, maybe had that been Keith, they might have been ready for this type of fight. But he clearly wasn't expecting this guy to uh, either either he wasn't expecting it or he could, or just the style that ain't good for him one of the two. But it just clicked like he wasn't prepared for this type of you know that the 
chase after nobody like this and and uh you know getting out the way of them punches uh you know he i mean like i say he got hit with a lot of good clean shots he took them he took them well now but this guy only got 11 knockouts you know uh so i think like i said in the end it's probably a good thing he didn't get that fight with keith thurman uh believe it or not you know he may i'm sure he wouldn't see it like that but you know, uh, me watching this, I don't watch this fight maybe four or five times now, and, and all I can see is he would have had a lot of problems had that man Keith in that movement and, and coming off, coming out them corners with them combinations and connecting like that. Uh, he would, he might have had some serious. It, it could have been some real problems in that, You know, uh, uh, but but that's it for me on this video. If you like the video, hit the like or subscribe. Till next time, this man Spiel Dog. I'm out.